So we've set a target to be net zero carbon by 2045, but that includes our supply chain as well. And we've identified how much carbon are we emitting at the moment and how much have we reduced it since 2010. And it's that information that's given us the ability to project forward into 2045 and say that that is actually a realistic point at which we should achieve net zero. So if I was to tell you that all of our sites are safe, and then you found out that I was only talking to you about the Skanska people on our sites, you'd be thinking, well, what about everybody else? Actually, it's the same with carbon. If we're just talking about Skanska's carbon emissions, our direct emissions, that isn't representative of the emissions from all of our sites. You've got to include the supply chain to make it sensible. Sustainability absolutely adds value to our business because it motivates the way in which you think. You need to be really good at identifying options for different materials, maybe different methods, or even an option that says, you don't need to do that in the first place at all. So our ability to demonstrate to our customers that we have the skills to create all of these options on a project is good business for us. Our aspiring leaders are going to look at the existing leaders, so they're going to look at me as well. There are two elements of the business only that report direct to me. One of those is environment and the other one is health and safety. So I'm sending a really strong message as to what's important to me in Skanska. We need to collaborate as an entire industry and share our ideas, which means we need to talk. So the UK GBC Leaders Network is one of those really good places to talk share those ideas and share those challenges. As a company, we focus most of our efforts on the future. The thing I will be very proud about is when we actually do the things that we're setting out to achieve, and I will be incredibly proud when we eventually get to net zero.